it is night and day. It is unbelievable how much you're actually saving on using the H2D's dual nozzles for a print like this. If you only have time to watch one single video in my Bamboo Lab H2D video series I'm busy recording this week, then this is the video you should watch since today we're gonna be rethinking personal manufacturing as Bamboo Lab themselves put it. Because we are gonna see how much better Bamboo Lab H2D is compared to a Bamboo Lab A1 when it comes to personal manufacturing and starting your own 3D printing business. Needless to say, we have a lot of things to talk about in today's video, so I'm not gonna waste any time in reminding you to subscribe to this channel, since I hope that goes without saying. But before we jump into Bamboo Studio, to show you side by side the exact amount of time and filament you will save by upgrading to a Bamboo Lab H2D, or maybe making H2D your first Bamboo Lab printer instead of maybe the more beginner-friendly Bamboo Lab A1. Before we get there, I quickly wanted to share my own personal experience and opinions after having played around with this H2D for at least three days so far. And as I think you can tell, my H2D does not get many hours of rest this week since I am borrowing it for this week only from the local distributor 3D Mart. So if you are located in Taiwan or Hong Kong, please do go and check out 3D Mart to get your own Bamboo Lab H2D or one of the other printers or 3D printing accessories they have on their website. And as always, I do do want to give you the shortest possible summary in the beginning of this video, but this time I'm not entirely sure if I can do that since it highly varies depending on your own current or future 3D printing business. But on top of my head, the absolute best benefits with having a Bamboo Lab H2D is the dual nozzles and the larger printing size. I don't think that comes as a surprise to anyone, but the question is, is this machine worth the current price tag of 2600 99, which is almost the same as four brand new Bamboo Lab A1s with the AMS Lite. I can't really give you the answer right now, but hopefully by the end of watching this video, you have figured it out by yourself. But what I can say is that for my business or my future business, this would be a complete game changer, but maybe not for the reason you might expect. So, in order for me to give you my personal opinion regarding this H2D as my own personal manufacturing tool or assistant, I'm gonna use my own real examples from my own very soon upcoming 3D printing business. Just super quick backstory, uh, in Taiwan there is something called a Taiwan bear that looks like this. Uh, which I am trying to mimic as my little mascot or or just a gift or souvenir to, to sell in my Taiwan 3D printing shop. This was actually used using like the Maker Lab uh, on Maker World. And I, I just added this little logo myself in, in Tinkercad all for free. So yeah, this is what I'm working with together with some other Taiwan inspired uh, keychains which is, was also like a, a free print that I that I found online that I can customize and use for, for commercial licenses uh, that I then colored using my color tutorial if you haven't watched that video yet. So yeah, that is basically the two main products that I am trying to finalize and also uh, using this H2D to use mass produce this week when I am lucky enough to borrow this from 3D Mart. And my personal first impressions is that this machine is absolutely amazing with the absolute best benefit being that there's almost no waste at all when it comes to designing two color prints as long as you are using the external spool here on the side for the main colors of your prints. And maybe some of the more seasoned A1 users will say, well, you can just like design it in two pieces and then you can just put it together afterwards. Well, this guy cannot. I have tried. I have tried. I have a prototype back here that was in two different pieces and I could just not get it to work. So I had no other choice than to just go with this multicolored version. So it's just done. It prints with support. I just remove the support and then we are ready to sell. Uh, and then I will also add some accessories to this little bear. Uh, so right now we do have a, a flag version uh, that I have not finalized yet, but you, you kind of get the idea. Being a full-time 
YouTuber with absolutely no design or just handicraft experience at all, I have realized that done is better than perfect because it will never get perfect, but at least it gets done. Uh, that has been my philosophy during my uh, full-time YouTube career and also in school before that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that will be a, a very, very big part of my 3D printing <laughs> career as well. And as I mentioned, one of the absolute biggest benefits of this H2D is of course the dual nozzles. But I first thought that that means that everything you do with this machine must be twice as fast, which is so not the case unless if you are printing with only two colors, which so far I am lucky enough to be mostly doing with this Taiwan Bear. So thanks to this machine having two nozzles, I can actually load one of the colors onto this external spool. And then the second one will be one of these up here in the AMS2 Pro. And that means that there will be no color changes within one nozzle. And that means there will also be no extra poop or no extra waste in between these color changes that does not happen within each nozzle. So you can print with two colors, basically without any waste or any poop at all. And just to give you a comparison between Bamboo Lab A1 and Bamboo Lab H2D at a first glance and as a final product, there is virtually no difference at all. Printing quality is, I would say, 100% identical. But when we do factor in all these other factors with, for example, the amount of waste created to make these different products, it is not night and day. It is unbelievable how much you're actually saving on using the H2D's dual nozzles for a print like this without having to do these color changes within the nozzle. And because of this design and this genius masterpiece of a solution, I know that Bamboo Lab was not the first one with this solution. I know that there are others that have even like five nozzles, I think, with the, the Prusa XL. But the absolute biggest surprise that at least I had and I did not realize until I got to try this machine for myself. That is when it comes to the entire like prototyping and trying out new designs because even if you're only printing like one single bear in this case there will still be almost like no waste and no poop. You can literally just do these prototypes one by one and you can do it like twice as fast compared to if you would have an AMS light and do these uh, nozzle color changes all the time. The prints itself will be twice as fast and you will be able to like redesign and do your next prototype or your next like version one point three so much faster and I think that's where this machine really shines if you're someone who designs your own products and you end up having to tweak it a lot that's when I think that you could actually really benefit from the saved time but also the saved filament but I think that really the time saving is what you would end up feeling at least the the biggest reward and also the most instant improvement in your 3D printing design workflow. But in addition to the dual nozzle setup, which we are going to talk about in a lot more detail in just a second in Bamboo Studio, I also wanted to show you a literally huge upgrade with the new H2D. So as a reference, this is uh, an upcoming upgrade to my Bamboo Lab A1, which is the ultimate AMS light cover. So if you want to see how this project goes, please do remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. But this is the size of the A1 one plate and if we are using the exact same print on the h2d uh, yeah you can see right away it's it's massive and i'm now realizing that this is a pretty bad example since uh, this actually doesn't give you any benefits at all for this specific print because ironically the benefit of having a bigger plate gets bigger the smaller the print but in order for me to explain this in a little bit more detail, I think it's time for all of us to jump in to Bamboo Studio. So here we are in Bamboo Studio, and I think this is super cool actually. You can actually, in Bamboo Studio, see the slicing settings and the printing times of the H2D before you buy it yourself. So you can actually go, just throw in your prints, and then you decide for yourself if the time saved and filament saved would be worth it for you. 
So just as an example, we have a Bamboo Lab A1, and we're just gonna print a single one colored Benshi. It's gonna take us 53 minutes and 38 seconds, and it's gonna cost us 11.53 grams of filaments. Then all we have to do is to just go up here and we switch to an H2D right away. If you haven't seen this before, right away you can see just how enormous of this printing plate. And here we can see if we would be using an H2D, it will take us 53 minutes and 44 seconds. But again, where this H2D truly shines is when it comes to two color prints, like this beautiful Taiwan bear. So let's see with the Bamboo Lab A1, we're slicing this and we see how much does it take to just print one single bear. It's gonna take us five hours and 34 minutes. Uh, the model filament is 24.08 grams, but total filament used, including the support and the, the tower, is 98.6 grams. So that is almost 10% of an entire spool, uh, assuming that the spool is uh, 1000 grams, <laughs> 1 kilo, um, Swedish math, which... Uh, just seems so wasteful. Like it's not even about the money at this point because let's assume I can still sell it for more than what the filament would cost. In this case, it, the cost is, is 44.86. This is Taiwanese dollars, not American dollars. Uh, so this would be the price in USD for this specific print. But if we do go in to H2D, and uh, again, you can right away see just how incredibly much more space we have. Uh, we're gonna compare this as well in a, in a few seconds here. But uh, we go and we slice it. And now we have dropped down to two hours and nine minutes for this one bear, which is like half the time, more than half the, less than, less, more than half the time savings. And uh, model filament is 22.92 grams. It's a slightly different tower. Uh, but total filament is only 40 grams, which is uh, less. <laughs> it's more than twice less. And when we do click on printing this plate, we can see since we have this printer in the filament saving mode, then the H2D will actually tell us how we should rearrange the colors. In this case, it's only two colors, black and white. Uh, and they says we are gonna use the black PLA in the left nozzle, which is the external spool in this case. And in the right nozzle, which is connected to the AMS2 Pro, we do have the white PLA. So if we do it like this, then is only gonna take two hours and nine minutes. And just for the sake of this comparison, if we instead would go with another convenience mode and use two colors that are currently both in the AMS, so in this case, it's white and gray instead of white and black, you can see that it now takes four hours and two minutes because we're not fully optimizing this new H2D and the dual nozzles. If you want the AMS function, then you can only connect one AMS to one nozzle. So if you have two colors you want to use with the two different nozzles, then one has to be in the AMS and the other one has to be via an external spool on the outside of, of the H2D and then connect it separately into the back. As you can see, we get a clear reminder saying that uh, this costs 30 gram filament more and 120 changes compared to the optimal grouping. And unless you have a very, very specific use case, I think that you would always want to go with this filament saving mode, uh, which would then tell you exactly how to arrange everything. And you would literally save hours and, and uh, countless of dollars, depending on how much you actually print. But now when it comes to four different colors, the savings are not as great as you might expect. So let's start with the Bamboo Lab A1. We are slicing this plate and we see that in total for just one single keychain, we take one hour and 39 minutes and the model only uses 6.75 grams, but actually takes 18.81 grams in waste. And it's gonna cost us 2.55 USD to make one single keychain keychain. But if we are using an H2D instead and we do slice this in filament saving mode, we do actually end up using 20.64 grams paying 2.24 USD for this one single print. Because now the H2D have told us that we need to divide it so we have one color in the left nozzle, which is again the external spool, so you can only have one color there. 
Uh, and then we have the right nozzle that has to share three different colors. So we are still saving five grams and 10 changes compared to just printing with one nozzle. So there is still a benefit, but not at all as great compared to if we only have two colors or if I maybe would have bought a second AMS2 Pro and connected that in the left nozzle in this case. But that is not the only benefit you will get from an H2D since we will get a larger plate as well. So if we take this Taiwan bear again and we right click and we come up with this still very secret menu, I think, and we fill a bed with copies. Then we see that we get a total of eight Taiwanese bears. Then if we slice them, we can then print eight of these in 13 hours, which would be uh, more than 90 minutes per bear. But if we instead are using the H2D and we right click, we fill bed with copies, we end up with 12 Taiwanese bears. Then if we do slice this with the filament saving mode activated, of course, we can then print 12 of these bears in 14 hours and 56 minutes, which in this case averages to 75 minutes per bear. So you can actually get both faster, more and cheaper products if you are using an H2D instead of an A1. I don't know what you want to do with that information, but now at least you have that information. Again, that is the, the motto of this uh, channel right here. So again, it depends very much on the type of products that you want to make. But if you do go into Bamboo Studio, you can literally just like drag in your own STL, your own 3MF and your exact print that you want to print with the type of filament and AMS Pro 2 arrangement that you want. So for example, maybe you benefit from getting two AMS2 Pro. Uh, maybe you don't even need one. And hopefully after watching this video, you also have a little bit more clarity on just how amazing this new product is. Before you head over to order your own Bamboo Lab H2D, maybe you want to stick around here on the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can see my next couple of videos regarding the H2D, where we go into a little bit more detail on the things that uh, I still don't understand that is a little bit uh, confusing and just doesn't really make any sense. And if you do want to support me a little bit extra, maybe I even saved you 2,699 USD if you're realizing that the H2D is not the machine for you. Then you can also support me by joining the YouTube channel membership where you actually don't get any benefits at all other than prioritized replies, but it will go a long way to this future of this channel so we can get more products, more filaments and just do all different new kinds of tests. Uh, or you can also be very generous and include a super thanks in any questions that you might have regarding any of these printers as well. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Lucas. Start with Alice in like, ends with S, and in subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one.